everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Imperator Rome 2.0 out of the heirs of Alexander DLC as Grace. We are, well, in the last episode we uh, started uh, encouraging some of our northern cultures to become vassals. Uh, these guys that I'm hovering over said yes, I am not brave enough to try and say their name. And then these people, these fellows over here, uh, said no. So we're at war with them and forcing, forcing the matter. And it's been a pretty easy going war. Our vassals are, are cleaning up their armies. We're only using our standing army, which means it's not hurting our empire to be doing this. We're just kind of chilling, which is very nice. It'd be nice to fix our bad research ratio at some point. Probably need to build up some of our cities with... Uh... I can't think of the building right now, but the building that encourages citizens. Nice for this to just siege down now. Oh, we're also hoping that this mine will finish so they paid for the mine. October 28th, September. It's entirely possible that this mine will finish before we take it. That's fantastic. I'm going to very specifically not take that. Wait, what is our army doing over here? It's disloyal again. I thought they were sieging, but no, they're off over here. Just, mm, lady, we're friends. Why are you... Why? Why? Tyranny. Power base. Pretender. I really thought being friends with you would, would fix this. I don't know where the decimated armies came from. To 81, get rid of some of the loyalty. I can't bribe her. Very low chance of bringing her to trial. Okay, well, we're not at risk of a civil war right now, so... Research are needed, okay. Is it, wait, hang on. Is this no longer a grateful family? Is that where we took the loyalty hit? Loyalty, loyalty. Interesting, so that researcher was of her family and that family is not in charge anymore. So we lost the, the grateful family bonus. So ideally, it would be of this family. No, nope, she's not of a family. It is the same last name. Are you not a great family? Yes, she's of that family. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. I also don't know where... That lady. So she's got to be in this one, right? Yeah, right there. So we need another person from this family. Which is, would be the ideal. Seems a little harder without the uh, color to easily tell you what family they're a part of. But it's got to be this one. Oh, it tells me here who the primary people are. Primary heir. Sorry, everyone. I, I really am losing my mind here. Well, she She's a member of our family. Oh, well, of course. She's a pretender to the throne. That's, I don't know why that's... I don't know why that was surprising to me. It makes 100% sense. So it should be this person. If we pick this person, he's not the best researcher in the world. The loyalty is back up. We're back to over the limit though. We 
We'll give it a month to tick by and see if it's still... No! No! They stopped the siege. You idiot! This war should have been over. Oh my... This is ridiculous. Don't you go wandering off again, lady. I don't have time for that nonsense. I mean, we definitely... They definitely built that mine for us, so that's nice. Uh... Ridiculous. Okay, yeah, they're raiding us. Person's loyalty is okay, not great. Could give him free hands. Can I bring him to trial? Not really. His money comes from being head of family. But we tried to make friends with him. We'll try again. And then this army is going to not move. Okay, so we were definitely taking the aggressive expansion one. However, Getting our tyranny down might be more helpful to us at this particular moment in time because that would be some of the loyalty modifiers. No, I'm going to stick with aggressive expansion. Wish I had a, a tech and I could grab that plus two loyalty one. That would be very helpful. Uh, I gain more tyranny. Oh, oh, he still wants this person's position. This is the other disloyal person, ironically. Yeah, okay. Enjoy. My tyranny is obnoxiously high now, though, so I gotta be... Gotta be careful. There's a scorned family. Okay, but there's an empty researcher slot. And the two can go together. That's nice. This guy's disloyal. What... Is a researcher being disloyal a big deal? You're seven. You're not amazing, but you might do instead. And then we don't have a scorn family. Large amount of money. I actually don't need their friend his friendship anymore. Okay. Well Uh who's got the higher marshal? You by far. Good luck, lady. The last person we sent won, so you better win as well. I'm just saying. You know, it's two two victories for Thrace in a row at the Olympics. I think that's kind of mandatory. It's so irritating. Okay, now we're friends with them. So that problem won't happen again, which is nice. We're just in control of things. Now, we should have won this so long ago. You you joke of a general. A manpower is getting up, though. That's nice. Despite this. I really like this whole, like, we can totally be at war and it's not killing our empire. Because we're just using our standing army. Wow. That's awkward, though. We, 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 we died. <laughs> I bet we're gonna have some disloyalty issues now. Oof. Okay, so we're gonna spend the political points to get our legitimacy going up, because... Oof. We're far too young for this. Oh, and we're a lunatic. Awesome. Great. We're an ambitious lunatic. Ugh. It's nice having this blood of, uh, I don't know what that word is either, but, you know. What is my popularity? It's garbage. Going up slowly, but it's still garbage. Okay, uh... 
Why am I in the trade overview? What am I trying to do? I want his popularity to go up. So government, invest some money. Oh, we can't. Because they don't personally have money. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm reading? Oh, and I'm not an adult. Okay, well, just every, everyone can hate me then. That's fine. At least she's going to be happy because currently she's the primary heir. So we won that siege. I love this, like, things auto siege now. Once you take the capital. We did not win. But hey, we'll take the, we'll take the small popularity boost anyway. Who's our vassal of the giant army? I don't want to vassalize you. Oh, it's got to be one of the ones down here, right? Oh, well, actually, before that, before we lose troops on this war that we've already won, we'll just uh, take everything. Thank you. Please and thank you. We become a major power. Okay. Uh, the elite, so this is standard one. We're going to take the drop to aggressive expansion for sure. Because it's not crazy, but it is up there. And, okay, we've increased rank and are now a major power country. A major power country instead of a regional power. Since we now have at least 100 territories, the following special rules can be used to guarantee other countries. Can threaten war. Can support rebels. Can have alliances. And the following effects happen. Integrated cultural happiness, plus 12. Capital trade routes, plus 2. Integration speed, plus 0.2. Uh, monthly wages for characters, plus 10. Ouch. Better diplomatic relations. Oh, we can have two more relations. Political influence, war score. Pretty good bonuses. Threshold for civil war is harder, though. And loyalty of people is lower. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it is... Uh, Kind of here and there on that. Uh, but looking good. Thrace is looking good. We have starving pops. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, what do we want to do? What do we want to do from here? That's a good place to be in. Do you want to be an ally? No. Kind of a shame. I would like a powerful ally. Rome. <gasps> Rome! Gorgeous. We still have too many diplomatic relations. Which I find interesting. But honestly, I think we'll be okay. We're not using the political influence that much. Uh, and 10% of plus one is... I mean, my brain is breaking on the math, which isn't that complicated. But the bottom line is it's not going to work out to be a lot. And we will try and integrate these at some point. Uh, in eight years. Uh, okay, okay. What are we doing now? So, we have more trade routes. That is good. We have an insane amount of fish here. I think it would be good to import a strategic resource like iron. To our capital. Well, wait, this menu change. This menu is not the same as the last time I looked at this menu in this campaign, right? Right? I'm not losing it. I don't remember seeing patch notes, but this is different. Uh, surplus, heavy infantry discipline. I think we're going to try and collect iron. And we'll bring it in from... The Seleucids. Kind of um, would like to be friends with them as well, actually. They don't want to be friends with me, though. Even slightly. Okay. Uh, this army is starving. That's not my army. Not my problem. This army can chill up there for now. We really need to spread our culture around a little bit. Almost none of this is actually our culture. Almost none of this is actually our religion. This is really reminiscent of every campaign I played of this game recently. Where everything hates me. 
Okay, so the tribes of the north is done. What do we need to finish this side? Uh... So, it doesn't actually help me. Oh, it wants this. Is that not our vassal? You're independent? Really? You are independent. That's fascinating. This is the one thing I'm missing for that. Okay, well, uh, covert, advocate claim. Ridiculous claim, but here we are. Uh, okay, what else do we got? Because we became a regional power, and I think that's going to change how our military works a little bit, if I'm remembering right. So as we can go to laws now, and right now... We have Royal Guard, so Discipline and Levy Size Multiplier. We will be able to raise a Legion in the Capital Region, but we could change... Uh, has to be a great power to be able to raise an unrestricted number of Legions. Interesting. Okay, I thought that was a major power, but I remembered wrong. So that's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. King of Kings. Integration speed. Diplomatic relations. Plus two. Wait, does that mean we wouldn't be over our limit? Diplomatic relations plus two. If we came down and we became King of Kings, we wouldn't be over our limit anymore. It would cost us 15 stability, which we probably can't afford right now. But we should remember this and switch to King of Kings in the future. Because that should, I think, give us plus four relations, which would put us in the positive. So we need to remember this. This is on our to remember list. But for now, for now, please stop being glowy. Thank you. Uh, for now. I think it's time we go and bully these people to the north. I'm also tempted to expand my army further. Because I think having... I really don't know what the balance is. I also like they've changed... I don't know what like the troop... I feel like I was relatively confident in all of this. And it's still mostly the same troops. Like, it's all relatively the same troops, and yet I don't have the confidence component of this anymore. I want some of everything. I don't know. We're going to take some heavy infantry. Plus 0.6. I think that's good. Plus 1.3 would be down to 6 income, but that's actually not bad. Do we want an 8k standing army? Am I going too crazy with a standing army because we have legions? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm not going to do it yet. We're not at our manpower cap, so there's, there's no rush on that decision. What we are going to do is come here, and we're going to end the raid. What, 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 do you have allies? You do. A little nation up there. But I mean, I have an insane number of vassals. So, you know. Unfortunately, the, sub the superiority war goal is not great for taking the land. But, I think it would be, I think it's good to do this now. Uh, the raids of Getia will no longer be tolerated. We shall lead our forces deep into the northern territories and destroy their spirits with the overwhelming might of the... I mean, we're not... 
I mean, I guess we're Greek, so I guess that's where they're going from. Uh, they must learn that their own... Uh, ugh. They must learn that now only misery and death lay to the south. A lot of people like us better. And we go to war. We're not calling Rome into this. We're not embarrassing ourselves by calling Rome into this war. We're just not. It's not, not an option. Not a possibility. Oh, we're going to take this capital and then we're going to walk north. And I'll be curious how much of the land we can take uh, moving forward in this. Barbarians. Oh, that's a bad thing. Uh, we should probably go help with that. I don't know if there's a way across the rivers. The rivers are kind of an interesting problem. I don't think there's a way across them. Unless there's a smaller river. We'll find out as soon as we take this. We're now going to come help. Okay, we can't go straight there. However, that said... Well, this is a good place to end this episode. So thank you everyone for watching. In the next episode, we will clean up uh, the north and I think be in a fairly comfortable position. I mean, Egypt's still terrifying, but that's, that's what it is, right? I'm not going to change anytime soon. So thanks again.